Swimmable versus wadeable. Certainly we want our rivers to be safe and clean, but how do we judge if they are? And what is swimmability? There is numerous definitions around this. Uh, the one the Ministry has chosen is looking at the microbiological um, quality of the river and the, uh, whether the lakes um, have toxic algae in them. The river or lake is given a rating of red, orange, yellow, green or blue to indicate a potential higher or lower risk for swimmers. Mr Civic Jones says the regional council is working to provide the most accurate information to the public. It's probably confusing to the public uh, because there's now three different ways in which the data has been presented. Uh, the MFE website now identifies water quality on an annual basis, um, whereas for swimmability, regional councils report at its popular swimming sites on a weekly basis, which is more direct measurement of what's actually happening. The information from these tests is uploaded to the Environment Southland website. Another group concerned with the water quality is fish and game. Southland manager Zane Moss says anglers can be wary of fresh waterways because they're in and around them and likely eating the fish they catch but they don't have more to worry about than swimmers. Levels that are safe for swimming are certainly safe for contact recreation for, for anglers because that's sort of a secondary contact. They're not in the water as much as someone who's immersing themselves swimming, obviously. Um, so generally, if it's safe for swimming, it's certainly going to be safe for angling as well. Graham Civic Jones says people need to be responsible when using rivers and check the quality and clarity before swimming. I'm Ruby Spink for The South Today.